The International Barcode of Life Project has a far-reaching mission to build a digital library for all life on Earth. The scientists involved are compiling a database of DNA samples from as many different plants and animals as they can find. Biologist Alex Smith works on the project. He calls the process barcoding. What we're trying to do is to create this global library of DNA barcodes, snippets, little chunks of DNA that permit us to identify species. Among the objectives is the protection of species vulnerable to illegal exploitation, which are frequently poached for their horns, hides, and other body parts. Obviously, trade in endangered species, I think, is, uh, in terms of the black market, second only to narcotics uh, right now. So it's a big deal to be able to identify whether something is farmed alligator skin or endangered Cuban crocodile when it's involved in international commerce. And once it's tanned into a leather, these things can be really challenging, but DNA-based approaches uh, offer a, a very real solution to being able to identify these kinds of biological materials once they've been processed. DNA provides a unique marker in all living things, and like a fingerprint, no two species share the same genetic makeup. According to the scientists, DNA barcoding has other important applications, especially in a world where food can travel through several time zones before arriving in a grocery store. Bob Hanner, assistant director of the project, says that cross-border contamination is a growing problem. He uses the fish industry as an example. We've been able to develop a reference sequence library for over 7,000 species of fish on the planet, and that's allowed us to go in and identify fillets, things that have been stripped of their scales, fins, heads, that allow us to identify what they are to species. And as part of that research, we've shown that nearly one in four fillets that we've tested in North America is mislabeled. In other words, market substitution, economic fraud, in some cases even with human health implications. The scientists say that DNA identification methods will have to become portable before the technology can be applied to global commerce. Both Tanner and Smith believe portable genetic sequencing technology will soon be a reality. In the meantime, they will focus on building their library so when the technology catches up, it can provide answers for the people who need them. Ben Gruber, Reuters.